we just snuck onto a golf course pond to do a little bit of bass fishing should be a good time this pond is legendary it's where i caught my pb and i know there's a ton of five pounders in here so we're gonna see what we can make happen let's go starting out simple weightless senko june bug color great in this cloudy water There's a fish. Let's go. All right. That is a fish. All right. Not a bad little guy. Let's go. Ooh, he is chilly. Get you back in the water and see if there's some more. There's another one. Whoa. All right. Let's go. Not the giant we're looking for, but uh, he was ambitious. Stay hungry, buddy. There's one. Yeah, he's a little bigger. A little bit. <laughs> Got him all the way in that corner over there. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. Ah. <laughs> well, he's not bigger, but he's definitely heavier. That ah, chubby little bass. Another one falls to the Senko. There's one. <laughs> that reel does not sound so great, huh? All right, well, another little dink. Not necessarily the size we're looking for, but he was right where he should be, right off that rock, so. Let's let him back in there. Keep eating. Get bigger for the spring, huh? Usually a June bug worm is the way to go at this pond. I've had very little success with anything else here except for topwaters, obviously. There's a ton of frogs in here and they love crushing the whopper plopper. But this pond's looking a little different right now because it looks like the landscapers cleared out all of the reeds that used to run along this bank. So basically there's nowhere to target them with the worm and it's really hard to cover water. So I'm gonna tie on an old spring staple, switch it up to a chatterbait, try and cover some water, get it down deep and see where these big fish are at. Cause we're getting some little guys in these shallow pockets, but you know, I'm looking for those five pounders this time of year and every time of year, especially when I'm at this pond. So what we have here is the new chatterbait Evo. It's a nice $10 alternative to the jackhammer. Hooks seem almost as good. I'll be honest, they're Z-Man hooks and not Gamagatsu. So we'll have to see how they do, but other than that, I mean, the base looking nice, you know? It looks nice out of the box, so see if it works just as good. There we go. All right. First chatterbait fish. No giant. Ski him in here. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. That didn't take too long. Right in the mouth. First bass on the Chatterbait Evo. But uh, get him back in the water, and uh, there he goes. <laughs> How's the golf ball? <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's gotta be a little bit bigger. Yep. All right. There we go. I thought that guy was gonna ask us to leave, but we just got a chunky, maybe pound and a halfer. He's got a fish in his mouth too. So they're eating some kind of bait fish and that guy's full. <laughs> Not really the size we're looking for yet, but we're getting there. We just demolished guppy after guppy, dink after dink on the Chatterbait Evo. If you guys do actually fish golf courses, just be careful out there. Try and look for ones that don't have no fishing signs. Cause if the pond has a no fishing sign right in front of it, you probably shouldn't be fishing there. It also probably means there's big fish in there, but you know, take that with a grain of salt. Just try and fish, you know, early in the morning, late at night when the golfers aren't there and you should probably be fine. 
as long as you're not actually like hopping any fences or parking anywhere you shouldn't be you know it's probably okay a lot of times the golfers will just be kind of entertained to be honest with you i think you know i saw a lot of guys out there that day and they just thought it was funny i was fishing you know a lot of people that golf like fishing too so it shouldn't be that big a deal if you're just respectful thanks for watching like comment and subscribe or don't but you could it's free all right guys peace